Hi guys and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm going to draw and paint a little blue wren for you. These little guys live in my garden and I absolutely adore them. They're one of my favourite little birds. Um, I love sitting out the back with a cup of tea and watching these little guys play around on the grass and they're just adorable. So I start by drawing the basic shape in. Um, I get all the details roughly where I want them. Like this is a very quick, quick sketch. This took me from start to finish about 15 minutes, just as a very quick, very loose um, sketch and painting. And I love to do this. I do this most days. I'll just sit and, and doodle and draw these little guys. So I've got basically the bird in the position I want it and the proportions are just about right. Now I start with the watercolour and I start with the background. Um, I wanted to have a just a green background. These guys live in the shrubs out the front. They're just like daisy bushes and they nest in those. So I just thought I'd just pop a solid green background. So I use sap green and I add a little bit of blue. So I start on the birds colouring now and I go in, they've got a black mask around their eyes and a little black chest So and a dark colours or almost black on their back. So I start to fill that in and I use a mixture of burnt umber and ultramarine blue to make a natural black. For the wings and the browner areas on the bird, I use a mixture of uh, burnt sienna and a little bit of um, Venetian red. On their bellies, they're very pale, so I just use um, the same ready brown colours, just diluted, very, very watery, and just pop that onto the tummy of the bird just to create a little bit of colour on there. And I start with the blues on um, the really colourful parts of the bird, and I use a mixture, I use cerulean blue to start with, and then I go in with some ultramarine over the top. For the stalk that the little bird's sitting on, I wet the paper 
and I drop in some yellow ochre and then um, let that just run with the watercolour and then at the bottom I'll add some burnt umber just to add some dark texture to the bottom of the stem. So I hope you enjoyed this nice simple little bird painting. Um, I'd love it if you click like and subscribe, click on the bell icon, that way you'll be notified when I release a new video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everyone. Have an awesome day and I'll see you next video. Okie doke. Bye.